That looked a bit fierce. That's right, it is fierce. I'm sorry about the headlights. I didn't want to go over the edge. This is throwing a bit short. Look all right from up here. Spreading a bit, too. Still, that's all of the good. Have any trouble? No. It's not dead right, but it'll do. What do you mean it's not dead right? The wheel marks. Well, what about the wheel marks? Well, you know, just on the outside of the fence. We knew that, didn't we? Yeah. Do we go and spin? Yeah. What are you worried about? I'm not worried. I said it'd do, didn't I? Is that the turning? Yeah. How long's he had? He's had plenty of time. I'll give him the signal as soon as we get to the top of the hill. Anything coming? No, we just woke up a couple of farmer's boys, that's all. First one, plastic. It'll give us more control, I think. Look, Con, if you're worried about this, we can stop up the road and have another go. Now's the time to save. It's too big tomorrow, you know. Well, Con? No, no, it's okay. I know what I'm doing. as soon as possible. Home, sweet home. Yeah. One more night. What's 
made up with Fenner. Nerves? Yeah, I think so. How old is he? He's old enough. You're not worried, are you? No. Got to take some risks. He's a good mechanic. And he's amoral. And completely without experience of this sort of thing. Yeah. Just like you and me. Except the gas stuff. What? Stuff we don't want anymore. Leave it. As long as they have nothing to identify. Bloody boots. I'll never be able to wear them. The bloody leathers like iron. Why the hell didn't you pick the right sizes? Look, you do that once more, I'll tear your bloody ears off. Self-control, remember? How many times have I got to tell you? Supposing something goes wrong tomorrow? You start shooting your mouth off like that? For the past fortnight I've been at you. Self-control. Now remember it. think it in my two years in a different army. Leave it alone. Well, what do you think I'm going to do, eh? Go up to a sergeant major and tell him to get stuffed or something. After tomorrow, you can do what you like. Yeah. What are these? I got them for you today. I don't know. You certainly do things the hard way, don't you? I knew what to sign. But they won't know themselves until tomorrow morning. Duty officer, transport officer. What well, color ink will he use? Blue, black? I don't even see if he use red ink. Probably some sharp eyed bastard who's put a forgery. Who well, is going to take that closely? Look, I'm not taking the risk. Now leave this to me, Carl. I know how I'm going to play it. Just as you say. That's right, Carl. Just as I say. Look, don't worry about it. There are a couple of other things. Now, say so we get into trouble tomorrow. Real trouble, that is. This is the BBC and you're on your own. Nobody gets any help from anybody. If one of us gets away with it, good luck to him. And the second thing? The second thing is this. The Navy. Britain's motives should not be misconstrued by the United Nations. Our purpose is peaceful, not warlike, he said. Our aim is the continuation of the rule of law, to protect and not to destroy. Questioned about the outcome of today's meeting of the General Assembly, a Defence Ministry spokesman said that nothing discussed so far could materially affect Britain's decision to act in accordance with the terms of her Treaty of Alliance. The continued dispatch of troops, he said, could not be halted at this stage. In the Commons today... The... Well, that's it then. We go. Right? We go. In which case, some sleep. Good night. Good night, Con. Sleep tight, mate. In this place? Never yeah, mind, mate. You'll be rich tomorrow. Why did you pick him? What? Swabak, why did you pick him? I didn't pick him. We picked each other. No, 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 you've known each other for a long time and all that, but uh, that foreign accent, that can't be much help, can it? He's a dab hand with explosives. I got to know him in the war, when he was in the Free Polish Army. Yeah, I know, but the accent. You've got to take some risks. What do you want to do, take out an insurance policy? No, no. I just wondered. Thought it might have been bad planning, something like that. What are you trying to do, Fenner, needle me? Why don't you go and set fire to something to work it off? How do you know about that? I know about it. Name rank and number. 820, driver Kingsman E. Good. Don't you ever relax, huh? You know, forget who you are, what you're doing just for a minute or two. Uh, not anymore. 
Once I did. When was that? In Hamburg, just after the war. We're a little devil in the black coffee mine. All right. Who's we? Economy. So I got to know him. Nothing big. We weren't trying to make our fortunes. Just a small private transaction or two. And there was this special investigation fellow. He used to come up once a week from Badeinhausen. His briefcase. And nearly every week he used to come into our mess. And when he'd gone, we used to look around to see who he'd taken with him. And one week they saw it was you, eh? Yeah, they got killers, we got caught. The whole of Hamburg was one gigantic fiddle. And he had to pick on our little love for coffee, bar to ski. Thought he said he hadn't got a record. Not in the civil street, only in the army. Immediate dishonorable discharge. No character, no gratuities. Nothing. Just three holes on each shoulder where the pips used to be. An officer, eh? I'll bet you're a right bastard. <laughs> to rain again. Fella. Yeah? In case I forget tomorrow morning. The best of British luck. Shaving. Oh. It's all like you stashed? Yeah, except for the uh, flamethrower and Connie's spare explosive. What's the matter with you? Couldn't you sleep? Too damn cold. Woke up frozen. Oh. I'll take cons. Right. some hot water there. Sign it? As long as you know what you are doing. Getting in is our first big risk.
Watch your speed, it keeps on creeping up. What time will you pass the club? About half past seven. Fifteen miles is just about right. Seven forty-six. Not bad. Nothing more than our ETA eight fifteen, right? But. Hello. Yeah. We shall be at the main gate in two minutes. Anything you want? No, no, no. You sure? I just said I'm all right. What you want, driver? Moving RE stores to the docks. What's your outfit then? Div Transport, RESC. Oh, you don't say. I wondered what those letters were on the front. Well, what do you mean? Well, the RE stores convoy is made up of vehicles from four different companies. Now then, let's try again. 
Uh, I'm sorry, 108 Company, Alton. 108 Company? They came in half an hour ago, 15 of them. Yeah, I know, we missed Valley. It had to happen to us today of all days. Let's have your work ticket then. Don't know that I should let you in, really. Big security drive going on. What's this then? There's nothing on it. It's blank. Well, I've told you, we missed parade details, everything. I don't even know who the duty officer was this morning. If I'd known that, I'd have signed it myself. You're taking a chance, aren't you, wandering around without a work ticket? Oh, you know us. We've been here on detail for the last two weeks. You've seen my paper at least a dozen times. Pull over. I'll have to ask the sergeant. Oh, come on. What do you want to do, get us into trouble in our last week? We're going abroad ourselves in two or three days. Come on, what's it to you? Get me a shot, some of you, boys. Here. Make sure you fill it up. A Lieutenant Johnson was doing them this morning. You better sign it PP. Thanks. If there's any trouble, it wasn't me to let you in. Right? Good luck. And be a credit to your regiment, and get a move on! Carry on, Sergeant Major! Excuse me, sir. Nominal roll, headquarters, single section, and the movement order. Thank you, Sergeant. Chase up that loading order on our these stores, will you? Three parts of the convoy is in already. Sir. Has anyone seen a desert-modified air filter? A desert-modified air filter! Say to the speed limit! Now, come on, you beam it out! Bigger than mine. Thank you, sir. the lead of the building alarm, quick. Excuse me, Corp. Corp, what's you? Sorry, Corp. What you doing in there? You must be just checking the wires. What, a time like this? You know the army motto? Always leave it as you found it. These two? Two on top. Yeah, I'm sure. I thought the army's motto was if it moves, salute it, and if it don't move, why it was it? <laughs> yeah. Better just test it. What did I say? Yeah. Well, there's nothing to worry about, just testing the circuit. Hey! What about this one? Don't touch that one. It'll make the whole cab. It'll work. It's on the same circuit. Oh. I'll have to replace all the wiring in this building. It's very dodgy. I think that's dodgy. You want to see my old woman's bedside lamp? Yeah, well, I'll come back later when I got the stuff. Well, don't make it too late, you know. This block gets sharp, I'll six. Security guard on all night. Oh, yeah, I know. 
Yeah, with all them blokes going overseas, checks ain't no good, are they? <laughs> I never thought of it that way. Well, how would you? Not your problem, is it? Someone's got to think of it, don't they? Well, don't they? Yeah, well, we'll get going. There's another chap coming to look after these extinguishers. Come on, kinsman. Half six, remember? Paymaster yourself couldn't get in here after that. Yeah, right. Leave those, follow us. Should have brought one with us. Shut up, let me think. Without. Eh? No with. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Just wondered. You know what we're supposed to put in soldiers' tea, don't you? Come on, just give us a tea, will you? How much? No, I'd come, please. Do you want some niggly the other night, were you? What the hell the day before yesterday? It's bloody well not there now, is it? Maybe we could carry him out? No, no, no. It's too risky. Somebody might want to help. Oh, that's not the point. We've got more for him to carry out, haven't we? Sure, but why would they help? What do you think? Where do you expect to find a stretcher? That's it, God. Is that anyone's chair? No, help yourself. Right, we'll bring it over to you. Come. Hmm? There's a talkative MP over there, so watch your chat. All right, I'm not a fool. Okay, come on. Give me a minute to think. What's the matter? This wasn't in the plan. Look, if there's any trouble inside, you leave the talking to me and follow my lead. Yeah, okay. What happens if we have to split up? Well, you know, the routine, your next job is the run. Yeah. It's the timing from the door of the mess hall to the door of the pay block, right? Now, do you want me to allow for the guard to find the orderly officer and interrupt the, uh, any complaints routine? No, 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 I'll do that when we meet up again. Who's the duty officer? Orderly officer. Orderly officer, duty officer, what's his name? Well, I don't know, what difference does it make? Look, I told you to look at part one orders. The difference is this. If he's old, he'll run slow. If he's young, he'll run fast. Okay, then I'll find out. It doesn't matter. I found out. His name is Ellison. He's young and he's fit. And the guard we'll be sending for him will be young and fit, too. So you can make it as fast as you like. Too fast rather than too slow. We have to know the maximum amount of time that we can spend in that pay block. If anything goes wrong, well, we meet up at the rifle range. Where the targets are. Whoever gets there first, probably con on. We will wait for the others. Now, have you got everything clear? Yeah, clear. Come on. What are you men doing with that? A man passed out at his busing point, sir. Sergeant Major told us to fetch a stretcher. All right, let's have it back as soon as you can. You good, sir. I'll just pop it to Sergeant Wilson's office and sign for it before you go, will you? Uh, which is Sergeant Wilson's office, sir? Uh, it's the one with the... Don't you know Sergeant Wilson's office? No, sir. How long have you been in this camp? The weird divisional transport, sir. Alton barracks. Not all divisional troops come here for medical inspection and inoculations. Yes, sir. What do you mean, yes, sir? You going overseas with the division? Well, are you or aren't you? Yes, sir. Yes, we are, sir. Have you had your inoculations? Let me see your paper. Come on. There's nothing here at all. Yours? I see. Well, you're not going to get out of going overseas in this way. 
Sergeant Wilson. Uh, Report back here at five o'clock this afternoon. Ah, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Take these two men's names and numbers, will you? Reporting yes, at 1700 for TAB, ATT, and cholera. Yes, sir. Don't be late, will you? No, sir. Please wait. Hey, there's two more, you know. Huh? One in here and one in here. Yeah. It was damn close, wasn't it? Eh? Five o'clock. That could throw our whole time in. We're not going back there, are we? They got our names and numbers, haven't they? What if someone talked to the Sergeant Major at the embussing point? Good luck to him, the phony. That's just the point, you nit. What if they check with Div Transport to find out we don't exist? Don't you ever get tired of being right? This is where you break off. You got the stopwatch? Yeah. Right. See you back at the pay office in five minutes. Not that one. That one. Excuse me, Sarge. What's wrong with this thing? New fire extinguisher, Sarge. Well, I can see that. What's wrong with the old ones? What's wrong with the old ones? I think it's a bit mutton chest, Sarge. Why are you changing it? What's the idea of all this? Routine. They decay after a certain time. A bit casual, isn't it? If I wasn't so busy, I'd make him jump a bit. Sergeant White! Sir! Sergeant, the civilian clerk sounded the people that came on at 6 o'clock this morning. Oh, yes, I'm very sorry, sir. I'm just about to have him relieved, sir. You were on at 6 too, weren't you, Corporal? Sir. Been relieved in half an hour, sir. Attend to this right away, Sergeant. Just because of the flap ons, then you get slack. Yes, I'm very sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Worries about the civilian clerks. Pay call didn't finish till three this morning. Officers. Be relieved? No, any minute now. The yes. might recognize us if they see us later. Come on, fellow. Yeah, right. Get moving. Goes up the steps. Looks. Crosses the mess hall. Sorry to bother you, sir. Etc. 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 One thirty-four. Another one and three quarters for the duty officer to get back here. That's three minutes fifteen altogether. Right. Next stage. Connie and I got to go on until 4.30. 4.30? Change of plan, I'll tell you about it later. We'll lay up in the butts. You join us there before 4.30, after you fix the fire engine. It's a bit bloody risky, isn't it? It's all bloody risky. If you can't get to it, leave it. Don't push your luck. It's not worth that. Here, didn't pick up my flask, did you? Yeah. I did. Job for a fast runner. It's going well. No 
better than I expected. After all this time, the army. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big joke. How many years ago is it, Con? I'm back. Fifteen years. Sixteen. Yeah. Full circle. By chance. A lot of wasted years. Yeah, I suppose we could have thought of this a long time ago. The plan is perfect. Given the right conditions. If the conditions don't change. How can they change? Things go together. Expeditionary force to a hostile country, they must be carrying a lot of money. And with an expeditionary force, there's always flap and panic to hide behind. Unless they stop the war, they can't stop sending the troops no matter what. Death before dishonor, hmm? Rather your army than mine. You give me that bloody nonsense con dishonor. You're on your own. Get no help from anyone. And you're a mug if you expect it. If you want anything in this world, you've just got to go out and take it. Yes, sir. CEO's inspection tomorrow, you understand? Yeah, the sound made it so. Hey, the sight too quick for my liking. Well, clean enough, have a look. Hmm. Yeah, you'll have to go through them all again, I'm afraid. And I hope I don't have to stand over you. Trin your tie. Then it's not back. What a time is it? It's on 5.22. It should be in now. What are these lights? I don't know. What do we do? I don't know. Let's get out of here. Test firing. I should have thought of that. They're going into action. Testing guns in the dark. Why? How the hell do I know? You fight in the dark sometimes, don't you? What about Fenner? Oh, you won't come now. Come on, keep your head down. What time have it to be at my room? Five o'clock. Come on. Start. Start. Finish the pants. Oh, breaking records, eh? I hope you haven't got me out here on a fool's errand. I'm very busy. Well, of course, I understand that. Inoculations are very important, too. But in the army, you've got to obey the last order. Now, let's see. You're detailed here by the camp sergeant major. Very important man, you know. Carries a lot of weight. He'll straighten it out for you. Yes, Sergeant. Oh, aye. I knew there was another one somewhere. Get into that. You Scotch meat! Here! Here, you! Come back here! Hey, Huffle! Better make a show, I suppose. All right. I'll cut you out here. Sleeves rolled up. Oh, by the way, no alcohol for at least 24 hours after these inoculations. 
understand the strain. 48 hours is better. He's not here. Perhaps he's inside. See that? Oh, I know. We'll have to take a chance. Keep it open at the inoculation place, ready to be marked. I'll murder that. Hawkins J, 0.5 TAB. Boyd WL, booster cholera, 0.5 TAB. Marshall FD, booster cholera. Perry R, 0.5 cholera, 5 TAB. Burton MA, booster TAB, 1 CC cholera, ATT. Hall P, 0.5 cholera, ATT. All right, lad, don't rush. There's plenty for everyone. Sir? I'm not feeling too well. Can I get a breath of fresh air? Carry on. Gordon Hess. Booster collar, 0.5 TAP. Come on, old man. You better come inside with me. Come on. Come on. You'll be all right with me. Point five TAB, ATT color. How much TAB? Point five, sir. Come on in. Sit down. Sit down. Get your head down between your legs. Come on, right down. That's it. No, keep it down. Otherwise, you stand up and talk right back. DDMS on the phone. Jack is urgent. All right. Hang on a minute. That's the three for this man, Sergeant. I'll be back directly. Sir. What's your name, then? Humphreys. You like Menzies here? What's your number? 82524. Oh, that's all right. No, no, I've got for you. How oh, can I call you? Sit there. Going for a slash, please. Oh, Sir! Division map, I think I'm in the market to return yet. I think we've got to send him another. Damn fool. Fred! The yeah. antibiotic return on my desk, because you can. Right Just fix up those two chaps for me, will you? I should go on this phone for an hour at least. All right. Need a filter. Look, I'm sorry I wasn't here. Shut up. Keep walking. Look, I'm sorry I was late. Are you in the clear? Yeah. Well, that's all that matters. We're 20 minutes behind our timetable. 5.25 and a half. I know. 5.30, we've got to be cutting the wire. It's too tight. Shut up. Now look, either we're there now. Shut up. Look, he, he steals a jeep now instead of later. Now? Yeah, we don't, we don't walk to the wire. We ride, we take a chance. Might be safer. Right, have you got your, your torch and your keys? Yeah. All right, we start on the packet cases, you get back as soon as you can. Yeah, look, I'm sorry. All I was right, all right. Your pay book.
Just right here, inside. Uh, here. Come on. Post past the notice. All right, Con. Make it quick. Look at that, eh? Shut up, listen. Have a time? Yeah, two minutes in hand. seconds. Sergeant. Sergeant, so we let them know. There's been a report of a fire. Have you seen anything? Far no. I right, searched the offices. Well, the other one's gone off too big. Fire alarm! Don't panic, it's probably false.
How many people left in the building? No kids, that's hot. Right. I'll just give them hands. That's all right. They can manage. Seems to be all right in there. Right. I'll get these people here, just in case. I right, get that one down. You find anything? No, sir. Come on, look up here. Hey, I'll sell it. Hey, look at that door. I thought you said it locked. I shut that door, man. You want to start a trap? Now? Come on, everybody out. Everybody out. Get me in there. Come on.
Then I got changed. when these three men burst in. That's right, sir. Did you recognize these military police? No, sir. Never seen them before, sir. Yes, that's right, man. Lieutenant Ellison, he was... But this is ridiculous. I saw him taken away. He must be. Go back and check again.
Stafford, sir. Special Investigation Branch. Good evening. What have you been told about this so far? Well, sir, very little. You all right, sir? No, nothing political, I'd say. There were no official documents there at all. There was a considerable sum of money there. Yes, English as well, ready for embarkation. Well over a hundred thousand pounds. Yes, quite. I'll keep in touch. Goodbye. We've alerted the local police. All exits have been checked and they all say that no jeep has been out of the camp since around the time the fire started. It must be someone here. Some of our own people. At a time like this, I can't believe it. Excuse me, sir. Report from a fence patrolman. A section of perimeter wire has been found cut on the northwest side behind the area where the old tented camp used to be. Come with me, Stafford. could be miles away by now. Come on, Stafford, we're wasting time. Yes, sir. I was just wondering. Lieutenant Ellison's been found, sir. How is he? Is he all right? He's in the MI centre, sir. It seems he's been chloroformed. Chloroformed? Come on, then, Stafford. I'm going to get in touch with the chief constable. Come, Superintendent Cooper. Not at all, Colonel. Good evening, Captain Stafford. Good evening. And this? You think it was caused deliberately? The smell of petrol was quite strong. Any motive? Robbery, I presume. There's some little time before we can get in there to look at the safe. Mm. We'll all need gumboots. Mr. Hicks? Sir? Send over to the stores some gumboots, will you? All right, sir. Well, where are us supposed to safe, sir? Well, over here in this corner. I don't know I can... Some ribs you'll see that solid. What about the caps underneath? If they find it, they'll think it came off by accident. Good. Could you stop the move? Damn it, man. Nobody could stop it now. The whole division's on the move. Well, then I'll have to go to the cabinet for a decision. Yes. What's that? It couldn't be anything else but a cabinet decision. In the meantime, if there's anything you can do at your end. Of course, we're doing all we can here. I'll ring back as soon as I can. Yes. And keep it away from the press. Yes. Stay close to the phone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Can we stop the move?
back a coffin. What's the matter, Carl? Developing claustrophobia all of a sudden? You can always get out if you have to. Right. Here. Thanks. Now, come on. You'll be in there for quite a time. <coughs> Enough. Had enough? know? Go on, hang on. Go on. Thanks. Okay? Right. That you, Stafford? Yes, sir. Anything new? No, sir. Except, of course, we now know they didn't escape in a jeep. And what the devil did they escape in? Well, does it matter, sir? I mean, obviously, they changed to another vehicle. You could be quite wrong, Stafford. In which case, you would at least know what we're looking for. I suggest you go straight back to that gap in the fence and find out what you can from those tracks. Very good, sir. Now, hang on a minute, Stafford. I'll come with you. Sergeant Major. What do you want? Leave you in charge of the R.E. Stores convoy that's moving out tonight. Yes, that's right. I thought perhaps you better know. I had trouble with one of your lads today. One of my lads? Aye. Over at the cookhouse. What was he doing over there? Fatigues. He was detailed by the R.S.M. What the hell for? My blokes are drivers, not spud bashers. Yeah, he suddenly upped and threw a lot of Dixies at me. Can't say I blame him. Well, what's his name? Kingsman. Driver Kingsman, 820. No, no Kingsman here. Eh? I tell you, there is no Kingsman. Much more of this. I wish. Maybe we, maybe we should have risked the fence, eh? It looks like it's gonna rain. So sure. Look, Jim, it hasn't rained since last night, has it? Couldn't be due condensation. Those tracks were made last night, and that's last night's rain in them. They were made to fool us. Yes, and fooled we were. You see what this means, don't you? They wanted us to think they'd got away. Now, there's only one reason why they'd want us to think that. Yeah? Because they wanted to stay in the camp. Which means they may still be here, army personnel or not. Sure of this, Stafford? The wire was certainly cut today, sir, or we'd have known about it sooner. But I'm sure those tracks were made before midnight last night. Very well. You have my authority, Stafford, to take this camp apart. I want every cupboard, every man's locker and equipment checked. Especially base units, married quarters, MI center. Right, sir. Anything from the MO yet, sir? No, I'll let you know, but I don't expect much from that. Oh, yes. Don't forget the military police lines. Use every man you need. But find that money and those men. I'll do what I can, sir. Right, fade, go! Not eight! Now listen to me, all of you. Correct convoy distance at all times. There's other people using the roads as well as you. And keep your station. You leave here in the order you're supposed to arrive at the docks for loading, and that's important. Now mount and stand by. Fade! Two! Fire! The 
afraid your convoy will have to be delayed for a short while, Sergeant Major. We're on a very tight schedule, sir. I know. But we've got to search all your vehicles. All right, carry on. Of course, normally I would sort out a thing like this myself. But what can you do when a man's on warrant officer protects him? This is a very serious charge, McVeigh. You sure you're bound now? Yes, he was obviously covering up for him, sir. What was his name again? The Kingsman, A20, driver. Do you know the name of the warrant officer? No, I don't. Yes? Yes, speaking? Look, I don't care if you were the key of the armory or not. Bust the door down if necessary. Just get in there. All right, McVeigh, I'll take care of this. Yes, sir. Yes, kill I'm ready. Officer's mess, yes. Education hat, yes. Right, you finish around there. Aye, all in order, Sergeant Major. Good looks all right? Yeah. You're all clear to leave, Sergeant Major. Right, thank you very much, sir. Start him up. This is right on. Hey, you switched off? Yeah. What for? Overheating. Well done, Jess. Sit there. Take a look at that bitch. Right over here, let's go. still there? Good. Only the gate now. Twenty-seven? Twenty-seven. 
Seven. The county. All right, all right. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. We're gonna make it. Thirty. Thirty? He said he couldn't get one started. Who did? The sergeant made up convoy. Must have got a guy. Yeah, he must have done. We've passed them. We're out. We're outside. We've done it. Tony, run, Tony, pace! I'm sorry, he's not here. Have you tried the MI room? No, he hasn't arrived. Goodbye. Right. Nothing for the medic quarters so far, sir. Anything from military police lines or base units? Not yet, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? Who are you? I'm oh, sorry, sir. Lieutenant Sayers, assistant MO. Hmm. Well, the MO thought you'd like to know, sir, but Lieutenant Ellison is feeling very much better. Oh, good. Can you tell us anything new? Well, no, not really, sir. Oh, there was one thing, though. Yes? Yeah? Well, the MP who brought Ellison in also found a stretcher in the old ablutions at the same time. Oh, what's so strange about that? Well, sir, it was one of our own. It was from the MI centre. Yes? Yes, sir. Two RASC drivers borrowed it this morning. Some story about a chap having passed out. Well, do we know who these men were? Oh, yes, sir. We have their names. Well, good God, ma'am, what are we doing about it? Well, I've been in touch with their adjutant, sir. He's calling me back. The best is call again to a couple of minutes, dear, sir. We had a call for Lieutenant Sayers. Is he still got it? Yes, he's here. Hello? Uh, no. No, I, I was on my way over from the orderly room. Well, I, I left a message. Yes? Oh, yes. Well, well, thank you very much. Thank you. What do you say? They don't know them, sir. They've no one on their strength called Kingsman or Swan. Are we sticking to the original plan? It's done all right so far. Yeah. Yeah, do we have to stick with this lot? It's about ten miles back to the woodman, you know. Look, there's no sense in pushing our luck. I mean, there must be other ways back to the bar. They're looking for us just about everywhere except here, in this convoy. Yeah, I know. But just talk to me and convince me, will you? They've got a ring right around the camp. Our safest place for the next ten miles is here. Well, there's no one on our tail. I suppose that's something. That's everything. Over here. Yeah. There's a drain plug on a sump. What about it? Oh, it's missing. What do you mean, missing? I mean, it's not here. You nit. Must have unscrewed itself or something. Vibration, I expect. Can you see it? You're kidding, aren't you? Yeah, just talk to you a minute. <coughs> Ouch! What's the matter now? Oh, blimey. Something dug me in the ribs. Yeah, move just a minute. It's going, it. That's a sump plug. You don't say. What's he up to? It's all right, it's all right. Just closing up the convoy. Jeez. I've certainly sweated from a share of this money. How much further? Three miles. Twenty miles an hour, that's about... about nine minutes. You sure there's only one more convoy due to leave tonight? Yes, sir. Should we throw in the next half hour? Fine. Better go on with the search inside the camp. Leave me the provost chief for a while. If anyone wants me, they can get me on the guardroom telephone. Very good, sir. Drive on, Corporal.
stop this. LAD truck, sir. Convoy. LAD? What's it doing here? Had some trouble, sir. Has the convoy moved out? Ah, yes, I see. Yes, I heard it. Been searched? Yes, sir. Where's your work ticket? What are you then, 31? No, I thought it was 30. Oh, come on, mate, don't muck us around. Thought you went out with the others? Yeah, well, we didn't, did we? That's funny, must have miscounted before. Yeah, you must have done. All right, then. Thank you, sir. Off you go. God, as if imminent war and international tension weren't enough. Anything fresh, Mr. Hicks? Nothing so far, sir. Wanted a word with the admin officer. Carry on. What is it? Cook Sergeant McVeigh's had a bit of trouble with a man from Alton Barracks, sir. Driver on the R.E. Stores convoy. Uh, what sort of trouble? Extreme insubordination, sir. I think we should pull him off at the docks. What's his name? Driver Kingsman, sir. 820. Kingsman? Yes, sir. And there's a bit more to it than that. His company Sergeant Major has got himself Kingsman? Involved. Give the captain's staff at SIB. How many trucks were there in the convoy? 37. Breakdown truck made 31? Yes, sir. Thought we must have miscounted, sir. Good enough. I think so. What's the matter now? Jones is missing again. What do you mean, missing? Yeah, that's him coming now. Why didn't you bring us one? What are you talking about? Ah, oh, do me a favor, mate. I can smell your breath from here. You went in that pub, didn't you? You did, right, boy. And I'm going to the next one as well. Marvelous, isn't it? Another quarter of a mile. What are you doing? Just want to listen. We don't want anything on our tail when we turn off. Okay? Yeah, take a look at the wheel. Right. Fine. Listen.
Hello, Jonesy. Hello, man. Out again tonight, are you? Aye, third time this week. I'll know this Portsmouth throw by the time I finish with it. How long will the emergency last? I wouldn't be surprised if it came to a dead stop tonight. There's a rumour going on the camp that some blokes have finished all the embarkation money. Get away. <laughs> Nothing behind us, mate. Ah. Where the devil's he going? Oh, blimey, these drivers. Surely he hasn't mistaken that track for a road. Where's it lead to? Few fields, that's all, then it peters out. I suppose I'd better get after him. Well, I wouldn't waste any time if I were you. It's inches deep in mud at the bottom. you will get stuck for certain. Ah, that's all I wanted. Night on a bare mountain. Be seeing you. Good luck. Hey, do me a favor, will you? There's a breakdown wagon just behind. Flag him down. Ask him to wait because I need him. Righto. Ta. I got it all from the driver of the breakdown truck. Just tell me where they are. Put into a barn. On the left at the bottom, sir. Right. You stay up on the road and keep the breakdown truck. We may need it. Right, sir. And tell Captain Nicholson to come down with his people. Right, sir. Shh. Switch the engine on. What do we do, sir? We wait for Captain Nicholson. Right, sir. Military police. 
Move away from the door. Someone must have seen us turn off. Listen, we can still get out. They can't know for certain that we're in here. Yes, Claire. Yes, Claire. Come. You have to keep quiet. Don't make a noise. How did he get this? I gave it to him. Are you out of your mind? What are you talking what about? What the hell did you give him this for? Oh, what's it matter now? The police are outside. He's such a stupid idiot. He's inoculated. And you give him alcohol. Listen. There's another jeep coming. I can hear it. Come here. Come on, let's go out the back. We've still got time. What about him? What about Todd? Look, we're on our own. That's what you said, remember? Shut up, Fenner. Shut up. Let go, man. Look, I don't want the bloody money. Let go! Shut up, Fenner. Now, look. You're in this whether you like it or not. Right to the end. I'm going to put Swavik in the back of the truck. You're going to get up in the front, start the engine, and put this flamethrower together. We'll fire on the jeeps as we go by. Now get a move on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Right in there. What's the plan? Well, we walk in and take them. What else? Your truck's got ammunition. Oh, don't be so damn silly, Nicholson. We're all in the same army. Ammunition's the last thing we're likely to have. All right, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Make a show with your guns. Come on. Right, sir. All right, follow me. Keep on the cover. They may have a gun in there as well. Right, sir. 